The great promise of the internet, of course, in the days when I first started in the early 2000s, was that fashion photographers would say to you, oh God, the great thing about a website, of course, is you can have untold numbers of pages. And now when I think about that, I think, well, exactly, that's the problem. I think we've got to a stage where we don't need to be feel like led by the technologies. I think they are in our their service once we've figured out the ideas. I think that people are starting to realise you've got to start again from scratch with ideas instead of being led by technology because we're not exercising the same rigour when we're, we're allowing it to come first, is my feeling. For me, after a long time in digital environment, I did feel the need for the real world um, and I did feel the need for the, the look of the real world. It's not that they're mutually exclusive, you know, the kind of kindness and warmth and sincerity and kind of love that I hope people pick up through the magazine for women. Absolutely, it's time for that to come back onto the internet, but I've never quite solved in my mind how I'm going to do it. But, you know, we will. I, I needed to an inhabit an analog world to be able to understand it. I knew that the moment I kind of became too much the master of the technology, that I would be too seduced by it to be able to understand what it was in a way. So I think it was deliberate. It was a deliberate distance I kept from it, that I would never be the kind of architect of it. I would always be the, the person standing by the, the coder. And I think actually that's probably a characteristic of all my uh, relationships with ama the amazing creative people that I've worked with, whether it's Jop and Ger and or Peter Saville and, and Nick Knight, and that in order, I need to still be amazed by them. Um, and in order to keep me feeling like I need to work better and be better at it and, and it's that kind of thing that makes sure that there's always pleasure at the centre of it even when it's hard. Personally I'm not so interested in process anymore. I'm going backwards, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying product and uh, definitive viewpoints and parameters and being an editor. You know, the great promise of the internet, of course, in the days when I first started in the early 2000s, was that fashion photographers would say to you, oh God, the great thing about a website, of course, is you can have untold numbers of pages. And now when I think about that, I think, well, exactly, that's the problem. You know, just like eight would do. I just want a succinct, definitive communication rather than yards and yards of material to get through. And then you think, well, what bit of it did you mean? you know, uh, instead of like, well, all of it, you know, I, I, I feel that that's become the problem and that sort of indulgence extends not just to kind of galleries of imagery, but also the kind of fashion film that's being made, etc. You know, it's just like, could somebody please step in and edit that damn thing, you know, um, and, and stop wasting my time.